Today let's see how to build a voting system or like unlike feature into our own application using PHP and MySQL. It's considerably a simple logic so let's directly jump into the logic part of it. Uh, I'll illustrate it with three tables first one being the user table the next one being the image table and the out table three tables simple logic in the user table I have taken a user name which is primary key by the way which means it can uniquely identify each rows in a table each row in a table so we have taken one example my username is Apple I hope you know how to do the registration form and login form if you don't know please visit technotip.com we have a complete detailed illustration with the video demo and free coding on our blog with awesome notes there so please get on to technotip.com and search for this video and you will get it with this username allow the user to log in store this username into the session you will have several usernames who are logs in store his username into the session the next table is image table for example take two fields id and image these are the image names which we need to vote for or like and unlike or vote or and vote down so this id field is primary key and maybe auto increment too which means it can uniquely identify this image that is this row or the image for example as simple as this one the first one is user table the username is unique this is image table the ID is unique the third table and the final table is vote table here ID and username both are primary keys that is composite primary key I'll tell you what is composite primary key basically both these combined uniquely represents each row in the table that's it now you cannot have same thing like one as ID and Apple as username that is unique you cannot have another value with ID as one and username as Apple it just throws an error for example see this you have one and Apple as combination again if you have one and Apple it will give an error because in a relational database that is in a database design a composite key is a key that consists of two or more attributes that uniquely identify an entity occurrence so this multiple entries of same data throws an error by taking advantage of this simple composite key feature we can build our voting system or like on like feature into our own application so let's see how to do that if both ID and username are made composite are made both both are made primary key that is composite primary key then insert it like this insert into vote values pass the values once user hits vote or like button these values will be stored inside vote table what if the user presses the same button again just make use of if statement if the user presses the same key again then it just doesn't execute as it violates the composite primary key rule so it just executes else part so you can give a link to vote down or unlike it with the message that you have already liked it or you have already voted for this the, now the only option left for you is to vote this down or unlike the unlike 
Isn't it a simple feature? We need not complicate with jQuery and all. For, you can just use simple Ajax methods and some CSS for styling uh, that is presentation purpose and use this simple composite primary key feature logic and implement the voting system that is vote and vote down or like and unlike feature into your own application it's that simple unlike or vote down is simple delete from vote where id is equal to 2 and username is equal to apple see to that the values 2 and apple are given here just for the illustration purpose hope you understand that in your application you need to dynamically take these values from the user that is apple the username is already stored in the session once the user logs in this too you get it once the user clicks on the button that is vote or like button that value is associated with the image that the user would be seeing image or the some question or voting polls or something like that it can be anything depends on your application so this is it remove the entry from the out that's it that is out down insert the values inside the out table that is outing that is like removing is out down or unlike that's it it's as simple as this one do not make these simple things complicated so another important thing is to show how many likes or votes your image has got so just select it and count select count star from out where id is equal to 2 do not count the username because that would show how many images you have liked but that is not of use for the viewers maybe if that is true then make it select count star from out where username is equal to your username or fetch it from the session whoever has logged in how many times he has liked something on your app application or else if you want to show how many times a image has been liked just use this query select count of star from out where id is equal to 2 remember this id is unique that is primary key and auto increment this is unique and is associated with the images with the image you have stored in the database so the, this count is itself is the number of votes or likes it has got the image has got that's it these are the simple three queries using which you could implement the voting system or the like and unlike feature into your own application for more details and some technical stuffs and to ask your questions please visit technotip.com the url for this video and notes is present below this video please like this video on youtube please share it on facebook and twitter linkedin or put or where or google plus wherever you are on the internet so please like it on youtube thanks for watching and visit technotip.com thanks for watching